UFC featherweight division title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big ball from Westland. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this Jones. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, outstanding.
outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Try to establish that jab. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Punch his block. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Landed. Nice one, two there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. How about that shin? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Plans a glancing right hand up. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. There by Hooker. Oh! <laughs> Hooker gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice offense from the bottom. 
Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finisher position. Now watch he go parallel right next to the Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's... That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, John now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Big punch lands through the middle. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, head kick blocked by Hooker. It can be absolutely devastating, and in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 53 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. So how about it? We got a new UFC featherweight champion.